when I was first diagnosed, I, I truly was unaware of anything related to the prostate. I didn't know it was the size of a walnut. I didn't know where it was. I, I knew that uh, it was sexually related. I didn't know that it was involved in urination. There, you know, I didn't know the technicalities of it. And now that I've gone through it and I realized how men are so in the dark, um, I, that's why I have recently become a volunteer. And my favorite pastime now is talking to men who have been newly diagnosed and any way that I can help them just be informed, have all the facts, and then make, they can make their own decision. I, I think that's the, 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 the thing I can do most for men who have been recently diagnosed, how I can help them moving forward. Anytime you have prostate cancer and you're dealing with a man, you're dealing with the manhood. And I, I think that immediately, this is why I know some friends of mine that have had their prostate removed, and whether it's sexual function or complications of urinate, urinating, um, they get depressed. And they fall into a deep, dark depression. And, they just, and, and even if they don't hit a quite of a deep depression, they get very sad, and they don't really know they're in a mini depression. And I think it's because of the treatment. I, I think they picked the wrong treatment, and they don't really realize it's because they picked the wrong treatment for the prostate cancer. Because I was diagnosed at 56, I wanted a quality of life that I thought would be the best. I wanted the, the best quality of life because I was so young. And I wanted to stay alive, obviously, but I also figured, well, if everything is going to keep me alive because the cure rates are about the same, then, I, then the, the thing that tags along immediately is quality of life, which includes sex and urinary problems and working out. I play indoor men's floor hockey eight months a year. Uh, I'm a real estate agent, so I'm in and out of my car 50 to 60 times a day. It's active. It's seven days a week. All of these things come into play. I didn't want any side effects. I didn't want any infections. And uh, I, I thought I'd be better off treated with the seed implants than I would with any other kind of procedure.